Hi Aquarius, my sun sign brothers and sisters, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign, check them out for all three so that you know which part of you I resonate with most as a reader. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. <sighs> Excuse me, I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So, if you are a continued, sub, continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, and this resonates, hit the subscribe button. Wow, all right, nice. So we've got the Sun card this week. Remember with the Sun card, whenever this card shows up as your key to the week, very often it just, it kind of says like, this week you have an easier week of it than you would have had otherwise. Now, the Sun card for me, the way that I understand it and the way that I've seen it work over and over, it tends to enhance the blessings that show up in your reading and diminish the challenges. So if you, even if you have like the worst four cards now that sort of fall out, it means that these things will either pass quickly or the challenges will be overcome in a way that ends up being beneficial for you. All right, so love the sun card. That's at the, the heavier end of the scale, at the lighter end of the scale. Light, heat, blessings, joy, abundance, happiness, creativity, right? Connections with youthful people, all of that good stuff. For your actions and options, you've got the magician card. Listen, Aquarius, do not waste this week, right? You better be out here speaking life into your dreams. You better be, uh, and it looks like you're potentially connecting with a power player this month, uh, this month, this week. So there could be some form of conversation that shows up. It may even be that there's some kind of, uh, there's some kind of opportunity that shows up for you this week that sees you connecting with somebody that we would call a mover and a shaker. Somebody who really has the potential to shape or, sh shape or change your life in some regard. Now, remember the magician card is in the position of your actions and options. This is about what you do. So you're presenting yourself as an expert and you're being received as such. In terms of the options that are available to you, a powerful but helpful person will show up in your world this week. Um, and it's really weird, like, I don't know whether, really, like, this is, because I'm getting, like, this little glow in my chest, and I can feel it, and I know what it's translating into. So, for those of you that don't know, I'm a clairsentient, so for me, um, I always get a feeling first. That's always the first response for me, is some kind of feeling, right? Whether that is in my body, whether it's in my gut, whether it's in my heart, like, whatever it is. For me, it's always a feeling first, and that then usually translates into a phrase or a word or an image in my mind, all of that kind of stuff, right? So, well, that's how it works for me anyway. If you speak to a hundred other clairsentients, they'll all say it works some way different for them. That's how it works for me. The feeling that I get from this is, this person will be very beneficial for you, but you might also find that you're somewhat attracted to them as well. So there's that. Um, if you're partnered, behave yourself. Um, for <laughs> when it comes to your communications and conversations, uh, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. There's a few reasons I'm smiling and you're going to have to mind your business. Uh, so Queen of Pentacles, usually an earth sign person, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Um, and the fact that it shows up in your communications means that this week you want to be super meticulous when it comes to your communications, when it comes to your paperwork, your documents, anywhere that you are signing contracts, anywhere that you are setting up negotiations, anywhere that you are partnering up or collaborating in a professional sense, this week you really want to check the fine print. Not because there's anything scary happening here, but you really, you're gonna show up as this, right? You're presenting yourself as this and you wanna make sure that you follow through with that on a practical level as well. There could be some very healing conversations that happen this week, along with some very powerful conversations that get things moving. For those 
philosophy that are studying or in some form of academia, this is some kind of acknowledgement for the work that you've already done and also for the ideas and the theories that you're setting forward within your realm of study. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, this very likely shows up for you as your boss or your superior being a total ally when you set something forward. And what I love about this is there's no contention here. It's just you doing you at the best level and being received really, really well for it. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this is potentially some kind of international connection that comes in for you that could really either help put you on the map or at least support you in building a foundation for your business that really goes a very long way from here. There are wonderful interactions. There's potentially some really fantastic offers that come in this week as well. What is not to love? If you are retired and no longer working, this is where you're planning a trip or a journey of some sort this week. But it's not like... Um, like yes i'm sure it will be enjoyable and pleasurable and all the rest of it but this seems to be like a you know like the type of travel that you do that's for your health rather than like you know medical tourism i mean maybe it has an element of that but it doesn't look like plastic surgery or anything like that or you know those turkey teeth that you know look like when you step into the room they're like they blind you it doesn't look like anything like that. This looks like something that you're doing on a real sort of level of actual self-care, right? It's like you're you're making a point of taking this journey or this trip because you know it's going to be good for you or nourishing at a soul level. For your communicate uh, for your love and relations, you've got the King of Wands, right? So it's possible that you could be connecting with either an Earth sign or a um, Fire sign person. Now, if you are connecting with an Earth sign, you'll be meeting them through your work. If you're connecting with a Fire sign, you'll be meeting them through your partnerships, connections, or friendship groups, right? So for those of you that are single, it's quite possible that you could be connecting with a Leo of some sort. This person could could be bold, vibrant, dynamic, a lot of fun to be around, really energetic, very passionate, and also somebody who has absolutely proven themselves, somebody that has really earned their stripes. For those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, there's you and your significant other. The communication between you is great. The energy is palpable and the sex looks good, all right? It's the king of wands. What, what else are you going to say, right? Um, all in all, I am loving this week so far for us. Um, you know, I certainly love this for me. I'm like, hey. Uh, and then when it <laughs> before we get into your money and materials, the Luna Lacuna is up and out there for your uh, purchasing pleasure. Remember, you can sign up when you want and you can leave when you want. We are manifesting with the moon. We meet for the new moon. We meet for the full moon. You get a whole bunch of energy work where we really attune your energy to the cycle of uh, the lunations that are taking place. For your money and materials, you have the judgment card. There are big very positive changes on the horizon for you. I haven't seen a spread this good for Aquarius. I think we've seen one that was close to this this year, right? And we're now in June. So we're halfway, almost halfway through the year and we've not had a spread this good. And what this tells me, right, what is the magician? Outside of everything else that it represents, the magician is a person, right? A magician is a, a person that wields power. The King of Wands is a person. The Queen of Pentacles is a person. So what this tells us, uh, and I'm going to go into this as well, right, is that this week it really is about your connections, your partnerships, your collaborations, your interactions with friends, colleagues, co-workers, significant others, even family members, right? Like this is a week of profound goodness and profound change. I'm so here for this. I think it's going to be one of the best weeks uh, that you have all year, right? And this might be stuff that just sort of seeds now. So love this for you, all right? Now, um, you've got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands, so Earth and Fire. Earth and Fire bring my desire. And then you've got the Judgment card in the um, Money and Materials. <sighs> Excuse me. What this tells me is when it comes to your resources, there is going to be a shift or a change, not just in how much, uh, how how often or how much money you pull in at a certain time, 
but it's almost like there's a cap that's taken off right? You're going to feel like an acceleration of some sort. And life is basically saying to you, are you ready to do this at a bigger level? Are you ready to create or generate more money from your business or revenue from your business? Are you ready to go for the promotion that's going to show your expertise and bring you the bonuses that you're looking for? Are you ready to take the cap off your earning potential? Isn't it interesting that as I'm doing this reading, not long after Saturn's going to go retrograde and Saturn is in, certainly for an Aquarius ascendant, it's in your second house of resources. And for a, uh, an Aquarius person, Saturn is in your, um, yeah, it's for an Aquarius uh, ascendant, at least, it's in your money house, in your second house. So very, very interesting, like right? Because I always see like when Saturn goes retrograde, when it's once it's finished the the shadow still, shadow, you know, direct and all the rest of that stuff. Um, once it starts to actually track backwards, I feel like it gives you a bit of a breather to say, this is what you're going to get if you keep working this hard in this area of life. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, this is freedom. Freedom from some kind of chronic health issue or challenge that you've had, especially for those of you that have had... Um, skin problems, chronic skin problems, chronic skin conditions, all of that kind of stuff. If you've had anything like that, obviously I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, this is not a diagnosis, um, but if you've had anything like that, this is a breakthrough in that that you see this week, maybe because you see a skin specialist or somebody along those lines. And then finally, when it comes to your home and environment, the judgment card is literally a ray of sunshine in some regard when it comes to your living situation or even potentially around a situation that has fell out of your hands, right? So, and it's, it's weird because it's like you're getting help from somebody, but, and even though there's no full card here, I do get the feeling that this week you will be connecting with at least one or two power players that you've never met before that truly have the ability to help you shift or change your life in some way. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up and I will do the same. Take care and I'll see you soon.